Welcome to the Pixelberry Choices Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about Chapter 7 of Shipwrecked. And in this chapter we see we lit the fire at the mountaintop in the hope that if someone comes looking for us, they'll see the fire or the smoke at least mainly and will rescue us from this deserted island. And we see there was a plane flying over our heads. And we try to jump up and down and try to get it set, uh, you know, sort of uh, attention, or we can get the fire and wave at its direction, wave at the plane's direction. But um, you know, our love interest will be doing a lot of things to grab the attention of the airplane so that they can see we're stuck here and can rescue us. But all is in vain. The plane doesn't notice us and it goes away, and we see our love interest cracking up. All the tension, losing love interest ship, and how everything has turned out. All the emotion that was coiled up inside our love interest that comes down, you know, the dam breaks, and our love interest gets furious. So we are the optimist here. We say somebody will come looking for us, at least for our main character. But our love interest keeps telling us that there's nobody coming out, uh, look coming looking out looking for our love interest. And for sure, there's going to be no one for our main character either. And we're going to be stuck there. So we have an argument there. And it starts raining. And here you will get a diamond scene. And the for first time in this whole book, you actually get to hook up with the love interest. Even though you come quite close quite a few times. So chapter 7, first hook up here. And then in the rain. So it's kind of a, you know... Uh, I don't know how do I put it like a heart comfort scene yeah it gets close to that like we are in a tough position with our everything's happening and our emotions so we sort of get carried away and then the scene is there and it's up to you how you how much you want to escalate it and then mainly there's a kissing scene between our main character and the love interest and the Rain will be washing the mud away from our faces and uh, we will be seeing it. So that's, there's a special art scene about kissing in the rain. I thought there would be something just like in the Queen Bee book one. But then we get back to our camp and we don't talk much. So uh, we try to break the silence but our love interest works in silence because our love interest also admits that we can get closer to our love interest. So definitely our love interest has trust issues. Like our love interest was betrayed by someone, a partner. And all the incident happened in, with the boat and the betrayal with the drug smuggling and stuff. So our love interest isn't the one to get comfy with others. Our main character did get along with our love interest but... Our love interest is not really letting the guard down and is uh, wary of our main character and doesn't want to escalate the relationship even though we had the moment with each other in the rainy night. We try to tell our love interest about that. So it's mainly focuses on the romantic relationship between the love interest and the main character in this chapter. That how the love interest always deflects us even though it feels like there is something deep inside the love interest, but the love interest doesn't admit that they are in love with our main character. And we come back to the camp, the, this thing keeps on going, and then we go to get fishes. So we will try to sort of uh, hunt fishes, I don't know how to say, like uh, go for actually fishing, you know. So with some sharp sticks and stuff, you know, we will... Um, basically the pointy end it, we need to so sort of penetrate the fish and then uh, we, we're gonna have to do it and in a diamond scene you can learn it from Manu your love interest and then you will catch fishes and then um, other than catching fishes uh, in this diamond scene if you take it your love interest will be taking it to a beautiful pool and again the views you know the natural view and the view of the beautiful blue it was like a it's, it was like a 
puddle of water inside in a like in a cave or in the sea somewhere and it was just like a pool and it was super awesome the view the music was good and we just spent some time there we get really close to kissing but again a love interest pulls back so there's something going on definitely a love interest doesn't want our main character romantically involved with our love interest even though they initiated and we kind of crossed some lines at some points but the trust issues are again coming to the surface for our love interest but then we go out again and we're kind of pissed off at our love interest for the trust issues but then we will see our love interest is getting attacked by a jellyfish and at the last moment we'll save them but we will get stung by that so that's where it ends and what will happen next i think the next chapter is named as smuggler's bear or something that's going to be interesting because like i said in my last video i think somehow our love interest past is going to come into play and this island is a hub for smuggling or something and we're gonna retrieve their boat and take revenge on manu's ex-partner who betrayed manu and something like that will go down we'll see what happens next but so far the pacing is not that good it has mainly been some weird romantic connection between the main character and the love interest which i liked but like i said it has been done in various other books so slow pace definitely well definitely as a vib book i would have uh, expected it, uh, it, it to be a bit more oriented but it's a slow, nice, relaxing book, I feel like. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.